Hello, YouTubers and fellow hams, whoever else might be watching. Uh, it's been a nasty week. I've had a lot of wind and cold and rain and uh, just been miserable. Didn't get a chance to work on the thing I wanted to work on, but I had this. Now, this is a little mysterious little white cube that a friend of mine gave me. What is this thing? A couple of little lenses here, and if I push on one, oh, that one lights up. Yeah, it's a little white box with a, a, a light bulb and a button. That's what it is. No. Uh, anyway, uh, he handed me this and said, you want to look inside it and see what's in there? The company that I got it from didn't want it back. Okay, sure. Well, what is this? What is the company he got it from? Uh, this came with his application for car insurance with an online company. Uh, a lot of online insurance companies now are doing this. They send you a little thing like this that you put in your car and uh, it, the, an, an app on your smartphone and what it does is it monitors your driving habits and they sell it as saying well we'll be able to give you discounts if you're a good driver. Um, uh, I think it's actually more the opposite. Uh, they're looking at ways they can uh, charge you a little bit more because they don't agree with how fast you hit the brakes, for example, or how fast you uh, accelerate and so on. They're, they're going to have some specifications for what good driving is. And if you conform to their idea of good driving, you get to pay a little less in your insurance. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, so anyway, this, 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 this is the device that comes from that particular company. I've put some tape over the label. I didn't want to advertise for them. I don't really like insurance companies, but you know, hey, necessary evil. <laughs> uh, and I rode along with my buddy. It was real interesting. Um, he was driving a manual transmission car and this, their, their, their app and this device did not like how he hit the brakes. Um, and in my opinion, he wasn't braking hard at all. Uh, probably a little bit steeper of a, a deceleration curve being that it was a manual and you disengage the clutch you know so you're only braking against the momentum of the vehicle and not the power of the engine still being fed to the wheels and as in an automatic so i'm sure it has a slightly steeper braking curve but i swear this thing was beeping at him saying you were braking too hard with what felt to me like absolutely normal in traffic braking it wasn't harsh at all okay so, um, apparently they didn't want it back. I was curious about what's in here, and I'm sure you are too, and I've been talking long enough, so let's open it up. I see a seam around the back here, and um, I'm just going to get my knife blade in that edge and see if, uh, yeah, it pops loose. Yeah, okay. So I'm breaking little legs that are probably glued There we go. Boy, that's a fat battery. And right here we see some writing. It says drive well, tag version 3.3, copyright 2017 CMT. So I looked that up on the web and uh, drive well is a company owned by Cambridge Micro Telemetric, Telemetrics, Telemetics. Um, it looks like they sell this for all kinds of applications for tracking driving behaviors or patterns and so on. Uh, what we've got in here is a nice little board. Yep, just slides right out. Okay, so that's just the case with the lenses for the little lights. Um, looking at the top of the board here, you see all these little contact points. That would be probably for the test fixture and programming as the boards are manufactured at the factory and they come along, um, an assembly is going to drop down on top of it with little spring-loaded contacts that are going to make contacts with all these points. And they'll use that to test the board, uh, program it, and so on. So on this side, we just have one massive battery. It's a Sony... Well, I'll take a picture with my uh, little microscope and show that to you here and you can look that up if you want to know it looks like a really fat button cell the website says that these have an expected four-year battery life 
so wow, they, they must not draw very much. I see an unpopulated position up here that says SW3, switch 3. Uh, plus and minus this is an external battery connector over here. Okay, let's turn it over and see the meat of it. What's going on on this board? Ooh, nifty. All right. Not a lot, really. Um, big unpopulated space right there. Here's our little membrane button and the LED. That probably puts it into pairing or... Um, puts it, yeah, it probably puts it into a pairing mode and then your, uh, the app on the cell phone would find it. This is the Bluetooth module over here, which is probably also a system on a chip. Let's see, uh, USB microscope picture. CYBLE-012011-00. All right, let's look that up. And on the web, we find that it is indeed a system on a chip with a Bluetooth uh, capability built in. Um, and a nice little integrated antenna as part of the uh, PC board. And uh, I'll pull up the specs on the, uh, on the device. We can see that it is, does have a system on a chip in it, which will have an ARM processor and a small amount of memory. Uh, so this is uh, definitely communicating with the app on the cell phone through Bluetooth and uh, probably doing a bit of minimal processing on here to uh, uh, collect data. Um, this chip here, let's look at that under the microscope, MXIC25R3235F, and I looked that one up. That is a 32 meg memory that uses SPI serial um, interfacing to talk to the memory. So that is 32 meg of memory probably used by the system on a chip in here to archive data. Um, this thing has a real-time clock and they said on the website that this can collect data uh, without the app running. So that would be the memory that it stores that data in before the app downloads it. And this tiny little teeny little chip over here, that's going to be the accelerometer which is the main function of this thing, to sense how fast it speeds up or slows down or turn, uh, banks and turns, you know. It's going to use that accelerometer to measure those forces and make its determinations on how fast you are, how you are driving. And then we've got just some regular old surface mount electronics around there, some capacitors and diodes. So obviously uh, everything's being done in the system on a chip, which uh, runs at, what, 48 Megahertz, 48 megahertz, I think. It's real slow, but it doesn't have to be fast. So yeah, real basic um, inside one of these drive well tags. Not much going on at all. Just the uh, processor and Bluetooth connectivity and some memory. And an accelerometer, of course. As you'd expect, not a lot here. All the brains are really going to be in the app that runs on the cell phone. I looked on the Play Store and, uh, store and I found that DriveWell has several apps you can download, which I did, but then when I went to run it, um, it wanted me to create an account uh, and then sign in, and I didn't go any further. Um, I'm not interested enough in this thing to want to play around with it like that, and I'm not going to create an account with that company and spread my information around where I don't need to. Um, there's just really no point to it for me. I was really just interested in looking inside and seeing what was in here, and... Uh, yeah, neat. Real simple. Well, if I uh, had surface mount tools, um, this might be a nice scavenge. You know, this, this little module is probably quite useful. Bluetooth connectivity and uh, an ARM processor. Um, you could probably customize this to do all kinds of uh, fun things. Hmm. So, anyway. Short and sweet this week. Just wanted to take a look inside of this uh, drive well tag version 3.3, used by a lot of companies in the transportation world to uh, track your driving habits. And now you know what's inside. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.